The American ambassador to Somalia has called on opposition politicians to move forward with election agreements. Donald Yamamoto has been the top U.S. diplomat in Mogadishu since 2018. He was speaking at the Somalia Partnership Forum on Monday. Yamamoto has been seen as a key partner in pressuring the administration of President Mohamed Farmajo to get the national elections done on time. But opposition politicians and a few state leaders have threatened to hold their own balloting. This would amount to a parallel process that could fracture the fragile coalition that has held the country together. The opposition must reaffirm that there is no parallel process, there is no delay, there is no change to the September 17th consensus agreement. The United States and all the donor communities and partners are concerned about the electoral impasse. We call on the federal member states as well as the federal government to reach out and to make to resolve these differences. We, we will all hold anyone who is being a bad player accountable and we will do all we can to achieve these elections and also stability. The Somali people now more than ever need unity, stability and inclusion. The timeline for voting, scheduled to start December 1st, is already behind. Analysts speculate this could extend the terms of the parliament and Formaggio by as much as six months. Security is also a concern in the face of a likely withdrawal of U.S. troops from Somalia before President Donald Trump leaves office in mid-January. Uh, it will be a very tough and violent uh, fighting season as Shabab gets ready to reverse the um, uh, successes that we've all made in Lower Shabeli from the Somali National Army, Amasam, and Danab. And as Shabab will be targeting not only Lower Shabeli, but also Gaumaduk to get to the north, down to Beladogli, and then to seat of, of the capital, Mogadishu. And to reverse all of the things that we have achieved during this last year in debt relief and good governance, I mean, economic governance. We must stand strong. President Trump is on his way out and trying to disengage the U.S. in conflicts in this region. President-elect Biden does not have his hands on the reins of power yet, but is likely to be preoccupied with the coronavirus and the U.S. economy in his first hundred days. Yamamoto would appear to have much latitude to set U.S. policy in Somalia for now. He made some strong promises in his speech to the Partnership Forum. We, the United States, along with our partners, commit to educating one million children, create one million jobs, look at expanding the economic developments, but most important, to expand good governance, to hold every elected official in Somalia accountable to the people. One million jobs in a country of about 14 million would be quite an achievement. Yamamoto's speech created the most chatter online. But Deputy Prime Minister Ahmed Gouled provided some comic relief that went viral in a response to British Ambassador Ben Fender. Consensus is defining and redefining the term consensus. Consensus to govern, as Minister Saleh said, consensus to obey the rule of law, or consensus to have a good night with your wife. Africa Digital News Television, ADN-TV, reports the latest developments from Somalia, Africa, and across the globe.